I'll pick the paper. I already have a lot of gold at home. Girl, why did you choose the paper? Let me choose what I want. You'd rather choose the paper than 10 kilograms of gold? The paper's folded. Open it and see what it is. Don't open it. So what's this paper gonna do? Why do you always carry this paper everywhere? Oh, it's just to make sure no one opens it. So you still don't know what's inside the paper? <sighs> I'll open it when I'm ready. You're weird. This paper must contain answers. That's why your scores are always high. I don't need to cheat to get high scores. It's called studying. And this paper can't be opened up until I grow up. So open it now. You're an adult. If that paper isn't a cheat sheet, open it now. See, even the teacher thinks that. So now you have to open okay, it. Okay, I'll open it. Now you have to open it. Okay, I'll open it. What's on the paper? It's definitely answers for the test. Tell me what's in the paper. If you don't tell me, I'm going to have to expel you from the school. I'm sorry. I can't tell you. Like the teacher said, if you don't tell us, you're getting expelled. That's fine. I'd rather leave the school than tell you what's in this paper. Good thing they didn't see what's written in here. I know you will be confused, but soon you'll find out. Do not tell anyone what's written in this letter. Ryan. But who's Ryan? Mom, I just opened the letter I picked when I was little, but there's a person's name on it. You have to find out who wrote you the note, because it's... I'll get it. Hello? You've been accepted to your new Seriously? school. Seriously? But that paper you're holding, don't let anyone see what's written in it. Sure. How does he know what's written in it? Maybe it's him. What's your name? Hey, excuse me. Hey, boyfriend. Bro, I ordered someone with Kylie Jenner's body. What the fuck is this? What? Aren't you gonna ask me what's wrong? No. Hey, where do you think you're going? To your room. I'm tired. You're funny. You're sleeping on the couch. Oh, fine. Whatever. Come on in. So how was your night, boyfriend? I couldn't sleep with your arms and legs wrapped around me. Hey, don't forget your sunscreen. Touch me and I swear I'm going to sue that girlfriend shop. Hey, have you seen my phone in our room? Our room? Hey, have you seen my phone in our room? Our room? Did you find your phone? Yeah, it was on the bed. Where are you going? Can you just stop getting involved in everything? I'm going out with my friends. Okay, have fun. You're back. I'm in cheesecake. I'm allergic to cheese. Oh, sorry, I'll make another cake. Can you just stop? Stop what? Stop trying so hard to make me like you. It will never happen. Hey. I'm sorry for being such a prick to you. You don't deserve it. Thanks. Wanna watch a movie or something? Good morning, boyfriend. Where is he? Congratulations, you're invited to an interview. Excuse me, can I help you? I'm here for the interview. Name? Tomorrow. Girlfriend number? Girlfriend. Any special skills? I'm good at writing stories. I like acting, dancing. Miss, you're not applying for a drama school. Oh. Girlfriend 305? Yeah, that's me. Your interview was successful. Really? Yeah, please come with me. I'm going to introduce you to your new boyfriend. Okay, there he is. Hey, Amara. Famous or random? I think I'll go for famous. If I choose random, it can be something weird. So... Famous it is. Mom, I'm going to school. Okay, but why are you wearing a mask? No reason. Is it because you're ugly? Look at your sister. At least she's famous. I don't think you'll ever be as famous as her. Look, that's the new girl. Her face must be ugly. That's why she wears a mask. I'm just wearing a mask so you guys won't know my identity. Even if you take that mask off, I won't know who you are because you're not famous. Okay, fine. Class, there's going to be an audition coming up. The most talented student will be chosen to act in a very famous movie. Who wants to participate? Me! I want to participate. You have to be famous to participate. You're not even popular at school. No one knows who you are. If you're not famous, you can't participate. But I thought the auditions were open for everyone. Don't embarrass our school. Why would you even want to participate? You're a no one. Yeah, and she's wearing a mask. You can't see her face. Take off the mask, please, so we can see your face. Take off the mask, please, so we can see your face. 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's Amara. See? I told you I was famous. Now can I join the audition? Uh, of course you can. Oh my gosh, this is going to give such good publicity to our school. Sis, don't be happy just yet. Even if you pass the audition, I'm going to be the main character. And be the favorite child, as always. So there's no point trying. So you're hoping to be main character? <sighs> Obviously that's not going to happen. I'm more famous than you. You seem pretty convinced. Let's see who the main character will be. Sir, do you know if I got the role? Yes, you got accepted. But your sister Ava also got accepted. Ava? Yes, she's also going to be participating in the movie. Look at her, she's so desperate to get the main role. I know, right? I mean, obviously you will be the main character. I really have to be the main character. Oh, yes, I still have this random chocolate. I just need to find a way for her to eat it. Where is she? I will now announce that the main character in the film is... Oh yes, I still have this random chocolate. I just need to find a way for her to eat it. Where is she? I will now announce that the main character in the film is... Ava! Yes, I knew it! I told you, no matter what you do, I'll always win. Mom and Dad are going to be so proud of me. Mom, Dad, I got the role. That's great, honey. You always make us so proud. Yeah, and Amara's also going to be in the film, but she's just going to be an extra. I'm surprised she even got the role as an extra. She never works hard for anything. This isn't fair. Why does she always get everything she wants? My only hope is this chocolate. Hopefully it will make her not famous anymore so that I can get the role. Hey, sis. Um, I just wanted to say congrats on the role. I'm sorry I wasn't too nice to you. The truth is, I was a bit jealous. Of course you were jealous. I mean, who is it? Yeah, you have the perfect life. Anyway, I bought you this chocolate as a little gift. Aw, thanks. Are you just going to stare at me while I sorry, eat it? Sorry, um, I'll leave. Okay, now we just have to wait and see if the chocolate will make her not famous anymore. Okay, so now we just have to wait and see if the chocolate will make her not famous anymore. Morning, Mom. Mom, I can't believe this. This is the worst day of my life. What happened, honey? Why does it say nerd on top of my head? This is going to ruin my whole career. Don't worry, honey. There must be a mistake in the system. We can fix it. Amara, why are you just standing there? Do something useful and help your sister out. But, Mom, I have a really important... I don't care what you have. Your sister's more important than that. Now go get help. Why don't you just go get help yourself? I'm leaving. If you walk out now, don't ever come back. Gladly. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear? Apparently Eva went from famous to a nerd. That's so weird. How could that happen? Congrats, bestie. I knew you could do it. Do what? You don't know. Everyone's talking about you. Know about what? Tell me. Because your sister isn't famous anymore, you get the role as the main character. A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mines after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Amara's house looks like. I've seen it. It's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party, but if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir. I understand. They'll soon know the truth, but I have to get ready before they come. I wonder what the reaction will be like. Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir. This is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't in this house. Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to her? Of course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara's. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. 
What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house isn't Amaris, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. Dad, finally. Do you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir, I brought it. Here you go. Good. Now, let's see if the house is really yours. Oh my god, so that luxurious house is really yours, Amara? That house is really Amara's? Yes, see, sir, I wasn't lying about the house being mine. Jenny, are you ready to leave school? Amara wasn't lying. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kick me out of the school and keep the sleepover at my house. Because my house is still more luxurious than Amara's. Jenny, the sleepover was at your house last year. Your house is really luxurious, but Amara's even more. But that was last year, sir. My house has changed. It's more luxurious now. Okay, students, let's go to Jenny's later to see the current state of our house. Okay, sir. Sir, can I go too? Of course, Amara. All students in class can go. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want Amara to come to my house. What? Why not? You went to my house too, and I didn't care about it, even though you called me a liar. It's my house, and when I say no, it means no. Why doesn't Jenny want me to go to her house? What does she have against me? I feel sorry for you, Amara. Even though I'm friends with Jenny, I'm sorry. You don't have to feel sorry, Olivia. You know what? Just come with me to Jenny's house. If she says anything, I'll take the blame. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Olivia. <gasps> Wait, why did you bring Amara here? Oh, come on, just let her in. You feel sorry for her, don't you? Do you want to get removed from our friend group? No, Jenny, but... Hey, what's that noise? Can you guys stop fighting? Amara, come on in. Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir, I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir, I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at Jenny's house. As I expected, because my house is better than yours. But, sir! Okay, everyone, get ready. We'll meet at Jenny's house tonight at 8 p.m. One more thing, sir. I don't want Amara to come to my house. But I'm also a part of your class. When I say no, it means no. Amara, don't make this a big deal. Just listen to Jenny. It's her house after all. Okay, sir. How dare Jenny not let me go to the class sleepover? Why don't you just go regardless? Well, it's easy for you to say. You're Jenny's best friend. And if you really liked me, you wouldn't even go to the sleepover. You know what? You're right. Why don't you replace me at the sleepover? Replace you? But won't Jenny be angry? She won't be angry. Because if there's one less person, she won't be able to do the sleepover. Oh, I see. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. What are you doing here? I said you couldn't come. Plus, there's no one here yet. What happened to your house? I don't know. I just got here and found it like this. Someone must have came to mess it up. It was you, wasn't it? Me? What? No. This whole place is a mess. What am I going to do? Jenny, we're here. Open the door. Do not even think about it. I'm going to count to three and you have to open the door. One, two, three. Everyone, remember, do not draw on your face, okay? Because everything you draw on your face will appear on your soulmate's face. Huh? Who would want to draw on their face? Don't be surprised. There's a lot of people who do it. Look at Liam, for example. He's been drawing superheroes on his face for the whole day. Liam, why would you draw on your face? So I can meet my soulmate faster. As soon as I see someone with a superhero drawing on their face, I'll notice them straight away. I would not want to be his soulmate. 
Why is everyone dying to meet their soulmates? Amara, you really don't want to meet your soulmate soon? No, and besides, I don't believe in soulmates. Look at my parents. They've been married for 24 years and got divorced because my dad cheated on my mom. That's your dad's fault. Look at my parents. They're still together and they're in the 50s. You never know. It's not like your dad's going to tell you if he cheated on your mom. What the heck, Amara? You're so evil. Well, sorry for being honest. Come, Amara, help me draw on my face. I'm not going to draw on your face, Jenny. She's so weird. I feel bad for her soulmate. Honey, how come your friend's face is filled with scribbles? Because she's dying to meet her soulmate, Mom. Oh, but how come you don't have anything on your face? Because I don't want a soulmate. I don't want to get cheered on like you. Huh? Jenny? Why would my soulmate write Jenny on his forehead? This is so annoying. I have to cover this. Out of all girls, why would he write Jenny? She's so weird. Leah, how come you still haven't drawn anything on your face like the others? Um, because I'm waiting for you to do it first. Why are you waiting for me? Just go ahead, don't worry about me. It's because I hope you're my soulmate, Amara. Did you see Aiden's face this morning? Yes, he has Jenny written on his forehead. But that's so strange, Jenny's a freaking psychopath. Aiden, why do you have Jenny written on your forehead like that? For the last time, I didn't even write her name. She did it while I fell asleep at basketball practice. We have the same names written on our foreheads. Could that mean we're... Why isn't it coming off? Amara, I just wanted to let you know that... Wait, you're Aiden's soulmate? I can't believe this. Jenny? Why isn't it coming off? Amara, I just wanted to let you know that... Wait, you're Aiden's soulmate? Jenny? Your, your forehead clearly has my name on it, and I wrote my no, name wait, on No, wait, I can explain. Yesterday. You don't need to explain. Come with me. <sighs> Leah, please help me. Jenny wants to torture me because she knows Aiden's my soulmate. What? So you're Aiden's soulmate? Yes. Ouch. Help me. Why are you just standing there? You want to know why Leah's just standing there? Because she can't accept the fact that Aiden's your soulmate. Huh? But why? Are you an idiot or are you pretending to be one? It's because she likes you, duh. Really? Yes, Amara. And if I'm not your soulmate, no one else can be your soulmate. Leah, please help me. We've been friends for a long time. I promise if you help me, I'll go on a date with you. We all know you're just lying. Ouch. Where am I? You're up early. Do you like the movie Rapunzel? You must love huh, this Huh, Jenny? Tell me where we are now and why am I in handcuffs? So that you don't run away, silly. Yeah, you asked earlier where we are. We're in my family's secret tower in France. I'm in France? Yeah, just take a look outside. It's beautiful, isn't it? Leah, help me. You know my mom will be worried if I don't come home. Don't worry about your mom. I told her the school took us to France as exchange students. And that they confiscated your phone so that she can't call you. Impossible. My mom would never believe that. Of course she would. And she did. She would never doubt your childhood friend. Right, Leah? What? We're gonna leave now. Because I'm feeling nice, I'll leave you some food and drinks. But it's only going to be enough for a couple of months. You're just going to leave me alone? Yeah, and good luck trying to run away. Access in and out of this tower can what? only be made by a helicopter. Bye. I hope the next time I see you, I see you as a corpse. Okay, Amara, don't panic. I can just ask Aiden for help. Whatever I paint on my face will also appear on his face, right? But I don't have any pen or marker. I can just use my blood. Do you think he'll understand this? Should I draw a picture of a tower too? Maybe it will make it easier for him to find me. I really hope he sees that this is a tower. I'm so tired. <gasps> you need help, yes or no? This means he understood what I meant. <gasps> you need help, yes or no? This means he understood what I meant. Okay, so all I need to do is wait. It's been three days. How come there's still no sign of help? What if Jenny saw what I wrote on his face and she kidnapped him too? I'm so stupid. I should have never wrote that I needed help. I need to get out of here before I stop to death. Huh? That sounds like a helicopter. Could it be Jenny and Leah again? I have to hide. Gosh, this tower's so tall. Amara, where are you? Who the hell is that? It doesn't sound like Aiden. Maybe Jenna and Leah hide the hitman. I think your tracking device is wrong. There's no way Amara's in a tower like this. But we've traveled all the way to France. Mom? How come my mom is here? Did you hear that? That sounded like Amara. Yes, I did. Let's look for her in that room. Amara, how did you get here? 
Honey, what crazy kidnapper brought you here? I can't believe you two are here. You really don't know who kidnapped me. I mean, I did suspect Leah when she said the school sent you to France as exchange students. Because you're not smart enough to be sent as an exchange student. And also, they wouldn't send you to France. The school only sends students to Germany. But how did you find me? Remember that gold ring I gave you? I put a tracker inside of it, so if you ever snuck out, I'd know. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No reason. Let's get you out of it. So I guess you're my soulmate, huh? Since we have the same writing on our faces. I guess so. What are we going to do about Jenny and Leo? We have to report them to the police. Did you forget they're both rich? I'm sure they can bribe the police and get away with it. Calm down. I have a plan. What happened to your sister? You're meant to take care of I her. I told you, she accidentally fell down the bridge. It wasn't my fault. She's gone. I'm so sorry. She's finally here. You're going to be an older sister again. She's perfect. What's wrong? Mommy, I'm scared. Why are you scared, honey? I'm scared that Mara's gonna drop me off this bridge again. What's wrong? Mommy, I'm scared. Why are you scared, honey? I'm scared that Mara's gonna drop me off this bridge again. I don't know what she's talking about. That was so weird. How'd she know? I know that song. My grandma used to sing it to me before she died. How do you know that song? Grandma taught it to me. But Grandma passed away five years before you were born. How do you know that song? Grandma taught it to me. But Grandma died five years before you were born. What's that on your shoulder? My birthmark. How long has that been there for? Since I was born. Mom, do you remember the birthmark my sister had on her shoulder before she died? Yes. Isabel has the same one. And? I love you too. Who are you talking to? My imaginary friend. She says don't fall in that hole again. Mom, how does Isabel know about the park incident? What park incident? I fell into a hole at the park when I was six. So? You don't get it. Grandma was the only one who knew about it. You don't get it. Grandma was the only one who knew about it. You're just overthinking. No, I'm not. So how would it be possible? I don't know. It's time to go to bed. Why? Because it's late and you need to rest. What about that little girl? Mom, she pointed at this girl in the room and no one was there. She's crazy, I'm telling you, she needs help. Maybe you're the one that's going crazy. Why won't you believe me? Are you sure all of this is true? Yes, why would I lie about it? Well then, the only explanation would be that when your sister died, she was reincarnated into your new sister, Isabel. And now, she's looking for revenge. What do I need to do? You need to kill her before she kills you. Honey, congratulations on your height. Wow, I'm pretty tall. Everyone stops at 160 centimeters when they but turn why? 16. Because after that, nobody grows anymore. Whoa, you've grown so much. Yes, I'm already 130 centimeters. I'm 140. I'm sad that we're going to stop growing. I really want it to be tall. Class, time to take measurements. Amara, you go first. 150 centimeters. Congratulations. I'm 160 centimeters tall. Happy birthday, honey. You've grown so much. Thank you, mom. Your height is 160 centimeters, just like me and your dad. Are you not happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Oh my gosh, look. What are you guys talking about? Your height. Come with me now. We have to speak with you. Is this your mom's phone number? Yeah, that's right. I came as quick as I can. What's happening? Your daughter has not stopped growing. How is this possible? Well, we suspect that she is the daughter of... How is this possible? Well, we suspect that she is the daughter of someone very tall. What's going to happen now? We're going to have to send you to a school, especially for tall people like you. You can't study with shorter people anymore. This is Amara. She'll be studying here from now on. Whoa, she's so tall. Are they also children of someone tall like me? Don't speak about that in class, okay? Why? Hey, you're so tall. Hello. Yes, I am. Why haven't you gotten your height checked yet? They didn't call me. Look at the ceiling. It's very high, isn't it? Whoa. Yes, it is. We can grow up to 500 centimeters. That's why we need to take our special gummies. You wanted to see me? You're new here, right? Yes. Okay, here's your gummies. Take a gummy a day to stop your growth. 
Did you like the book? Yeah. All students, please come for a height check. Why do they do that? Listen, Amara, if you start to grow and get stronger, they'll put you to sleep in a freezer. So, your height is 300 centimeters. It's not too bad. If you reach 500 centimeters, we're going to have to take you away. So, please remember to take your gummies. Where are they? Looking for something? Yes, I lost my gummies. You can just take one of mine. But aren't they different? I think they're all the same. Good morning. Did everyone take the gummy? Yes, sir. Okay, everyone. We're going to play a game of hide and seek. Please hide in a good place so that no one will oh, find no. you. Oh, no. I'm growing again. What's going on? She's getting taller. I'm seven meters tall. What should I do now? You must eat one of these gummies to get closer, okay? Um, one is enough. Whoa. It's working very well. Don't eat anymore. Amara, you're too short to go to school here. If you don't return to your normal height by a week, you have to leave the school. How do I get my height back? I'm sorry, but we can't help you. Oh, look how short she is. She really thought she could rule the world, but in the end, she became a shorty. Maybe I'll get taller than you. I don't even want to be tall anymore. I doubt you'll ever be tall again. Sir, please, I don't want to leave the school. You need to be at least 200 centimeters to join the school. You're much shorter than that. You can just give me some special gummies so I can grow taller. You're crazy. You should never do that. Why not? Hey, you're the one who wants to be tall again, right? Yeah, that's true. I've been researching and I found these new gummies for growth. I just didn't work much on the formula, so there might be side effects. Whoa, it's working. Look at her. She keeps getting shorter and shorter. Soon, she'll disappear completely. Hey, I found new growth gummies. <sighs> but I'm scared to try it. They're much more powerful than the others. I'm sure they're going to work. Okay. Today's the day. Um, how did it get so many that fast? Fine. I hate you. Girl, you got this. He's already got five. I'm only on my second task. What? My next task is to put in class. Yeah, you better not be sitting next to me then. Just because he said that, I'm going to sit right next to you. I'm so hungry. Cool. Starve myself. Why not? I saw you didn't eat anything today, so I got you this. Thank you. I'm begging, begging you. Hey, got the ticket. You've got to be kidding me. Can I have your number? No, sorry. I don't give my number to strangers. I beg you, can I please have your number? I mean, sure, since you're begging for it. No, my soulmate is so close to beating me. She has one more task. My soulmate has one task left too. Uh, I just got my last task. It says to kiss my soulmate. No my last task is the same. What are you doing? Well, I have to kiss you to see if you're my soulmate. Not happening. You're not my type. I thought my soulmate was a basketball player. You can't be the door guy. I can't date a door guy. Why are you following me? I'm not. I work here, remember? I just came out for fresh air. Did you find your soulmate yet? No. Maybe you should try competing the last task. Fine, I guess. I have nothing to do. It's just a dumb kiss. See? You're not my soulmate. Let's just break up. But why, babe? Because I'm a guy. I started this relationship, so I can end it too. You can't really dump me because you're just a girl. Amara, you chose to be a girl, right? No, I chose to be a boy. What? Why would you do that? The guy's the one who starts and ends relationships, right? Not all guys are like that. Didn't I tell you that David isn't good for you? Whatever. You'll never understand. 
basically i had to be a guy who's taller than my ex because he's pretty short so i choose to be tall look at amara she was dumped by the most handsome guy in school david right he's so handsome are you sure he's the most handsome guy here yes look around is there any other guy prettier than him there will be be a ceo or be a mafia leader must be fun being in a mafia guys let's have lunch together you're david's ex we were only friends with you because you were dating the popular guy i'm gonna be his girlfriend soon what <sighs> let the game begin let the game begin whoa this is so cool i look like a boy i'm going to pretend to be the new kid at school introduce yourself hi everyone i'm new at the school what's your name um, my name is Sam. Whoa, so handsome. Nice to meet you. Whoa, look at the new kid. He's so hot. Yes, even though the most handsome guy in school is David, I like Sam more. Hey, do you know David who used to be the most handsome guy here? If you steal his girl, you can be more popular than him. Interesting. Okay. Are you the new kid? Yeah. You said your name is Sam, right? Mm-hmm. Leo, do you want to go out and grab a drink? Okay, but um, I don't want my boyfriend David to know. Okay, I'll just go ask another girl. No, wait. Um, I want to go on a date with you. Okay, I'll pick you up at 8. Oh, so this is the guy who dared to ask my girl out on a date. Don't think you're more handsome than me. You're brave trying to steal my girl. Fight me in the ring tomorrow. The one who wins gets the girl. I'm in. Fight me in the ring tomorrow. Whoever wins gets the girl. I'm in. I have to think about how to beat David. I've never competed in the ring before. Hey, if anyone's interested, I just opened the gym. I train people to be stronger. Excuse me, sir. I want to register on your gym. Your muscles are already big. Why do you want to register? Yes, my muscles are big, but... But what? I'm going to be fighting in the ring tomorrow. The ring? Come, let me teach you. So, what do you want me to do? There is a way to win the fight. First task I'm going to give you today is do 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups? Yes, hurry up. My arms hurt. Second task, separate this wood into two. You want me to separate it into two? Correct, hurry up. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, it's done. Good job, okay, the next task is... I'm so tired. Sam, the race in the ring is about to start. David's waiting. Um, okay. Okay, the match will start in three, two, one. Okay, the match will start in three, two, one. Why aren't you feeling any pain? Because you're weak. I don't feel anything. Come on, fight me. Why are you just standing there? You're going to wish you didn't say that. Even though I was slow, I still feel like I won. Ouch! Well, at least this match is finally done. I'm going home. I will announce the winner later when everyone's gathered. Okay, sir. Wait, but then... When your girlfriend finds out who the winner is, she'll be mine. What? But... According to the agreement. But what if you don't win? She'll be mine. We'll see. Sam, do you know David's ex, Amara? Amara? Who's that? David's ex. Since you entered school, I haven't seen her. People are starting to be suspicious. Um, I don't know. Oh, I see. Hi, Sam. Hey, um, David said earlier, if he loses, you'll be mine. He said that? Everyone, the match results are here. The winner is... Hi, Sam. Hey, uh, David said earlier, if he loses, you'll be mine. He said that? Everyone, the match results are here. The winner is... Sam! <laughs> what? There's no way he won. Let's rematch. Just accept the fact that you lost. No, I didn't lose. I was just tired. Yeah, right. I don't care. You might have won, but you're not taking my girlfriend. But that was the deal, wasn't it? Hey, David, whether you won or not, I don't want to be with you anymore. You're a fool and you're so selfish. Furthermore, I don't need a man in my life to be happy. But wait, I love you. Aw, you just got dumped. Maybe you should start learning how to treat girls better. There's something weird about you. Ever since you got here, you've been wanting me to break up with my girlfriend. No, it's not like that at all. Who really are you? You'll soon find out. Amara, it was you this whole time? I should have known. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. David lost the fight against the girl. Why are you doing this to me? Now everyone's bullying me. I didn't do anything. You were the one who suggested the fight in the ring, so you did this to yourself. Anyways, I need to go. Bye. Cover my mouth or cover my heart? Choose mouth, now. Why, mum? Don't you see that big fat mole on your face? It makes you look ugly. Okay, mum. 
Finally, I could go to school again. Hey, you, why are you covering your mouth? You're so weird. Maybe because she's ugly. That's why she chose to cover her face. <laughs> okay, guys, has everyone found a date to prom? Yes, I'm going with my boyfriend. Must suck to be Amara. She's ugly and no one wants to go to prom with an ugly girl. Can you guys just stop bullying me? Not until you take off that mask. Yeah, take off your mask. I'm curious to see what you're hiding. We promise we're not gonna bully you. Okay, okay, fine. I'll take off my mask. Yeah, take off your mask. I'm curious to see what you're hiding. We promise we're not gonna bully you. Okay, okay, fine. I'll take off my mask. Wow, you're so pretty. How can it be that you're so beautiful? Beautiful? What do you mean? I have a mole in the middle of my face. Your face is so clean. What are you talking about? Sorry I called you ugly yesterday. How did my mole disappear? Does this mean the power of the mask removed it? Please, can you borrow me that mask? I have a lot of moles on my face. I would borrow your mask, but I only brought one with me today. Just give me that one. Okay, here. Finally, I can lose my moles because I have a beauty competition and I didn't know what to do. Surely you'll win in that competition. You said your mask can remove moles, right? Yeah, but I gave it to Sandy earlier because she has a beauty competition. Are you crazy? That mask can only be used once. If it's used again, something bad will happen. What? I hope Sandy hasn't used the mask yet. Okay, the next participant is Sandy. Thank you, sir. Before this competition starts, please remove your mask. Okay, I'll take off my mask now. Before this competition starts, please remove your mask. Okay, I'll take off my mask now. Sandy, why do you have so many moles? What? This mask is supposed to remove them, not make them worse. Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. You said this mask would remove my moles. Why did it make it I'm worse? I'm so sorry. I didn't know that the mask could only be used once. You didn't know? You have to be responsible. <sighs> Don't worry. I still have a lot of masks at home. Mom, I'm home. Uh, what's up with your face? What do you mean, Mom? Here, have a look. Huh? What? Why do I have so many moles on my face? Did you borrow the mask to someone else? Yes, I borrowed it to Sandy. You what? You weren't supposed to do that. Where is the mask now? I don't know. I threw it away in the bin. Well, go search for it before anyone else finds it and uses it. Your whole face will be covered in moles. I've searched everywhere, but I can't find it. Are you searching for a mask? I saw a guy take it from your backyard. What guy? Mommy, I promise one day I'm going to be famous. Honey, one day you're going to regret making that promise. Hey, can I please borrow your hair tie? I promise I'll give it back. Okay, but please do. You have a lot of marks. I will. Place. Trust me. Here's your hair tie back. Oh, I'm surprised you gave it back, especially with all those marks. Those were a long time ago. I've changed. I don't make promises that I can't fulfill anymore. The best uni is here to interview students, apparently. Which one? Oxford. That's my top uni. I'm going to go ask for an interview. Whoa, not so fast. Did you forget how many marks you have? So? Wait, you don't know? No, what? You can't have any marks on your face if you want to get into Oxford. They're very strict. Mom, do you remember if I made any promises when I was younger? Because I can't think of any. Yeah, you did. You promised to be famous. Famous? How am I supposed to be famous in one week? I'm not going to get into my dream uni, am I? Wait, I know a way. Famous? How am I supposed to be famous in only one week? I'm not going to be able to get into my dream uni, am I? Wait, I know a way. TikTok? Seriously? Just trust me, it's the only way. No, TikTok is for kids. And besides, I wouldn't want to be an influencer. They all think they're famous when they're not. Technically, they are. Yeah, right. Did you find out what you lost promise for? Yeah, stupid. What is it? I promised one day I'd be famous, and my mom came up with this dumb idea of posting videos on TikTok. Why don't you do it? Because it's lame and stupid. Well, it's your only chance to get into uni, so if you really want an interview, you're going to have to give it a try. Fine. Hey guys. No, I can't do this. It's cringe. So did you make the video? I tried to, but I can't post it. It's too cringe. Hey, let me show you something. Wait, what are you doing? Don't post it. See? Easy. Thank me later. Hey, let me show you something. Wait, what are you doing? No, don't post it. See? Easy. Thank me later. Okay, so what now? You wait. How long? I don't know. Until it goes viral, I guess. Anyway, I need to get to class. What are you having for lunch? I don't know. I'm not really hungry. I had the seven pizza. Let's go see. Why is everyone staring at me? Did you see her video? It has 12 million views. 
Amara, your mark's gone. I have 300,000 followers, but how? See, I told you you'd go viral. I'm going to go get that interview. Okay, good luck, bestie. Hi, I'm here for an interview. Let me check your marks. No marks? Wow, that's amazing. I've never had anyone apply with no marks. What do you mean? I thought you had a strict no mark policy. Who told you that? We accept students with up to 10 marks. I hope I get a good magic power. Move things? That's not even a power. It's normal to move things. I don't want it. Good morning, mom. Good morning, honey. Make sure you're ready for magic school. Yes, mom. Did you choose your magic power? Not yet. What? Why? How are you going to magic school with no magic powers? That's so dumb. Relax. I'm just waiting to get a good magic power. I don't want to get a lame one like the rest of my friends. Ouch! Look what my powers can do. Okay, okay, stop. You're hurting me. I can hurt you without even touching you. That's a lame magic power. What's your magic power? I don't have any magic power. Then who are you to make fun of me if you don't have one yourself? I'm going to tell everyone that you don't have a magic power. No, don't! Hey, you don't have a magic power, right? No, I don't have one yet. I hope I get a good magic power this time. It has to be better than my friends so they don't bully me again. Fly? Just fly? No, that's boring. I'll decline. Honey, you refused your magic power again? <sighs> because they gave me flying as an option. It's so boring. You can't keep rejecting. Just accept one already. No, I'm waiting for a good one to appear. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. You do know if you keep rejecting, you might not even get one at all. I'm just waiting for the perfect one to appear. You're useless. Let's go, guys. I'll give you time until tomorrow. If you don't have a magic power, you're leaving the school. But, sir, my magic powers are still loading. I don't know when they'll give me a next one. I don't care. You have 24 hours. Yes, it's loading. Okay, this time I'm gonna have to accept it, otherwise I'll get kicked out of the school. Please give me a good magic power. Please give me a good magic power. Mind control? Why do I always get bad ones? I wanna refuse it, but I can't, otherwise I'll get kicked out of the school. Accept it now. But mom, I said do it. All right, fine. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. She shouldn't be allowed back in the school. Who says I don't have any magic powers? I have a magic power. Really? And what's your magic power? I can't tell them. They'll bully me. I don't want to say. It's a secret. Sir, am I allowed to stay in the school? Do you have a magic power? Yes, I do. I picked one today. All right, then you can stay. Thanks, sir. I'm so scared. Imagine someone finds out about my magic power. I can't let anyone know that I got mind control. Everyone, we'll be practicing our magic powers today. Practicing our magic powers? Yes, everyone should know how to use them. Amara, you just pretend to have magic powers so you can stay in the school, right? No, that's not true. I have magic powers. If you have magic powers, why don't you want to tell me what it is? Fine, it's mind control. Mind control? That's the most greatest magic power. The greatest magic power? If you really have that power, then I want to challenge Challenge you. me? Yep, to see if you're telling the truth. Okay, fine. I'll accept the challenge. Good. Look, guys, I'm going to use my powers on Amara. Wait, why isn't it working on her? Wait, Amara, do you really not feel anything? Feel what? Why are you all looking at me like that? I know about your magic power. You can control minds. What? How do you know? Because you have the strongest magic power. I can feel strongest, it. Strongest? But I don't know how to use it. It's easy. Just use your feelings. Feelings? Yes. Amara, did you accept the magic match against Jennifer? Yes. Then the competition will start now. Now? Yes. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to use my magic yet. Why so quiet? Are you scared to fight me? Okay, the magic match will start in three, two, one. The magic match will start in three, two, one. Why isn't my magic working on her? Amara, use your magic now. Yeah, you said you had magic powers. Why aren't you using them? Because I don't know how to use it. If you really don't know, then why did you accept Jennifer's challenge? You know what? It's decided. You've lost this magic match. Lost? According to our agreement, if you lose, you're out of the school. No, I don't want to leave magic school. You accepted my challenge, so you must accept the consequences. What? Hey, old lady. I lost against Jennifer. I told you, you have to use your feelings. Are you afraid? 
Yeah, I'm scared. That's what keeps your magic from appearing. You shouldn't be afraid. So, my feelings make my magic appear? Yes, you already like someone, right? I like my best friend. His name is Jake. Then approach him now. Huh? Right now? Yes, go and tell him how you feel. It's so cold in here, isn't it? Jake? What's up? I like you. Why does my body suddenly feel warm? And I feel like I like you too out of a sudden. Wow. What just happened was love magic. Love magic? Yes, every feeling has a magic power which is different. And the greatest magic of all is anger. anger? Yes, that's right. Amara, sign this letter. Why do I have to sign this letter? Because you'll be leaving the school, so you need to sign it. But I don't want to leave the school. I've learned how to use my magic. Why is it suddenly raining outside? So this is your magic power. Yes, sir. The magic you just used right now is the sad feeling. Sad feeling? Every time you feel something, your magic starts working. That's such a cool magic power. You still haven't used the feeling of anger. You need to use it, but it will only work if you're really angry. Oh, I don't get angry easily. You have to, because it's the strongest magic. Okay. Why are you still in the school? I thought you got kicked out. You don't have a magic power, so you don't deserve to be here. I told you so many times, I have a magic power. If the teacher don't kick you out of the school, I'll make you leave. Three, two, one. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm safe. How far is your danger? 300,000 miles away. Oh, so you have nothing to worry about then. Honey, please make sure you lock all the doors and all the windows when I'm Mom, gone. relax. The danger's literally so far away. Aren't you scared? No, why would I be? The danger's like on the other side of the world. You do know that the danger's only purpose is yeah, to find so? You. I'm not gonna walk around worrying about it all day. Looks like someone's going the wrong way. Amora, have you heard? Emily's danger found her. She's gone. What do you mean, gone? I mean gone as in forever. Damn. How did he get so close that fast? No way he actually did that to her. That's actually so funny. Are you okay? Amora, what's wrong? Amora, what's wrong? Nothing. Are you sure? You look a little pale. They're in the same town as me. What? Who's in the same town as no me? No one. I need to go. Honey, why are you locking all the doors? Just in case anything bad happens. Why do you say that? Is your danger closed? No, mom, just please. Leave all the doors closed. Okay, come on. Dinner's on the table. I don't really feel like eating right now. Why not? You're always excited for dinner. I'm kind of tired. I'm just going to go to my room. Good night, honey. Love you. Love you too, mom. Mom, what time is it? It's 6 a.m. Why are you up so early? No reason. I just couldn't sleep. I can't believe I actually made it through the night. Okay, class. I hope you're all ready for the test. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? Attention, everyone. Please evacuate the school immediately. Please evacuate the school immediately. This is all my fault. Can Amara please make way to the head office? Nope, I'm staying here in the bathroom. There is no way I'm going anywhere. Whoever still haven't evacuated the school, you can come out now. It's safe. So it worked. All I had to do was hide. Amara, where were you? Are you okay? I'm fine. I was just hiding in the bathroom. I was looking everywhere for you. I thought you were in danger. Oh no, I'm fine. Honey, I'm so glad you're okay. I heard what happened. Apparently someone's danger came to the school. Oh yeah, but they didn't stay for long. I don't think they found the person they were looking for. Mom, where's Liam? Wasn't he supposed to be back from his trip today? Oh, your brother? He'll be here soon. Honey, please open the door. I think Liam's here. Do not open the door. Honey, why are you scared? Mom, just please don't. You can't let him in. I'm not going to leave your brother out in the cold. Wait! Amara, did you miss me? Why do you look so scared? It's not like I'm your danger. Mom, I'm tired. Can I just go to my room? Yes, of course you can, honey. I know this might sound crazy, but I think my brother's trying to kill me. Why do you think so? Because my danger says zero miles away and it happened as soon as he got here. There has to be another explanation. Just try to get some sleep. Make sure your door is closed. I will. Honey, you can come downstairs. Everyone's gone. Is Liam gone too? Yes. Why are you so scared of him anyway? I'm just going to go to sleep, okay?
This is so confusing. Mom? Mom's not here, but I am. Mom? Your mom's not here, but I am. Are you going to kill me? No, I'm not going to kill you. What do you mean? Isn't that like your whole purpose? I'm not going to kill you, at least not for now. I'm going to keep you around for a bit. What does that even mean? Listen to me carefully. You can't tell anyone that you saw me, okay? Otherwise, you'll regret So you're expecting me to act like nothing happened? Exactly. Just keep your mouth shut and I won't hurt you. Okay. Hey, Amara, can you stay after class, please? I need to speak to you. Okay, sure. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm just making sure you're okay. You don't seem like yourself. Yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? Did your danger find you? What? Me? Why would you say that? You know you can talk to me, right? I'm not going to tell anyone. Yeah, anything. I need to go. That's so weird. How did she know? Amara, get in the car now. What? Why are you picking me up? Mom's going to wonder where I am. Don't worry. Your mom knows exactly where you are. Where are you taking me? There's something I need you to do for me. What is it? I need you to become a danger. Wait, what? I need a partner and I thought you'd be the perfect Is that one. like impossible? Of course it's possible and you're going to do it. Out of everyone, why do you want me to be a danger? Because deep down me and you are the same. You just don't know it yet. No, we're nothing alike. Stop talking. Now you're officially a danger. The thing with a bunch of numbers shows how far away the person you need to get is. It looks like we're getting closer. We're here. Perfect. Now get out of the car. Wait, this is my best friend's house. I'm sorry, I can't do this. You don't have a choice. Amara, how did you get in? Are you okay? I'm so sorry for this. Mommy, what's this thing above my head? What's what? It says years until skeleton. And it has numbers next to it. Honey, there's nothing above your head. Hey sis, wanna do something today? No thanks. Please, you only have three years left before you die. Amara, I told you so many times, stop saying things like that. You're scaring your sister. I'm not trying to scare her. I already told you, I can see how much time people have left before they die. Stop with that nonsense. Amara, can you check how many years I have? Yeah, sure. 20 years. That's not true. I don't even know why I asked you anyway, you freak. Do you think she's lying about seeing how many years people have left to live? Yeah, she's definitely doing it for the attention. I don't get it. Why does no one believe me? They just think I'm crazy. Wait. Three days? Wait. Three days? But it said 70. Why did it change to three? Didn't my sister's one also say three days? Does that mean we're gonna die in the same day? Hey sis. Let me guess, you're here to tell me when I'm gonna die again? No. I'm here to tell you I have three days left to live too. Amara, can you please just stop with that? I'm serious, you have to believe me. I'm done with this conversation. Mom, me and Olivia are both gonna die in three days. Amara, we've spoken about this. Can you not go and do something useful with your life, like pack for that camping trip on Friday? Friday? That's in three days! Sorry mom, but I have to go. I need to fix this. Olivia, we can't go on that camping trip. You're not gonna ruin this for me. I'm going. Olivia, we can't go on that camping trip. You're not gonna ruin this for me. I'm going. Please, just listen to me. I don't care. I've been waiting to go on this trip since like fourth grade. Are you sure we can't just stay at home and do something fun? Amara, if you want to stay at home, then be my guest, but I'm going. I'm not going to let you go alone. You guys ready for the trip? So ready. Perfect. We're going to be getting on a short boat trip to the island. Boat trip? Okay, we should be arriving in the next 10 minutes. What was that? I don't know. Let me check with the captain. So what did he say? Okay, so bad news. What? The captain's dead. Please give me a red hair and let me be the richest person. Huh? Why didn't my hair color change, Mom? You have to wait 24 hours for it to appear. 24 hours? How am I supposed to prove to my friends that I'm rich? This is so stupid. My hair color is red. It means I'm rich. Yeah, my hair color is blue. I'm at a high level. What's your hair color, um, Brown? It hasn't appeared yet. Well, if it doesn't appear within 24 hours, you're done. We won't ever be friends what? again. What? Today we'll be learning division. Those with red hair enters the highest class, and those with blue enters the lowest. What class do I enter, sir? The outstanding class. Outstanding class? Yes. Why is there no one in this outstanding class? I'm the only one. The teacher's so annoying. White hair? 
I thought only red and blue existed. Why is your hair color white? Sir, what does white hair mean? Why is your hair color white? Sir, what does white hair mean? I don't think it means anything. No meaning? I suggest you go to the hairdresser and change your hair to another color. Okay, sir. Did you guys see Amara's white hair? Finally, someone with a different hair color. I want her hair. Sir, why is everyone looking at me? Ignore them. Follow me to the hairdresser. Okay. We've arrived. Please close your eyes while they fix your hair. Amara, there's something I want to ask you. Excuse me, sir. What did you want to say? I need a piece of your hair for research purposes. What? No! Oh my gosh, look at her hair. It's white. I wonder how much money we'd make if we sold it. Why are people so weird? Hey, white hair, follow me. No, you're a stranger. Just hurry up. Let go of me. Who are you? Listen, I'm here to save you. Why won't you hide? Hide? Oh, you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? Let go of me. Who are you? I'm here to help you. Why won't you hide? Hide? So you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? Why would they be against it? Your hair is magical. You can ask it anything and it will do it. Anything? Yes, they want to cut your hair because if they cut it, it won't work anymore. So I can ask anything, huh? I need to think of something worth asking. It's safer to stay here. Don't go out because people are looking for you. But how am I supposed to eat? Don't worry, I'll bring you food. I think it's time for me to go to sleep. It's getting late. Where is the white-haired girl? She's here, sir. Good job. You caught her before anyone else did. That's it. Take the scissors and cut her hair for me. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Amara. He offered me a lot of money to do Wait, this. Wait, one second. Before you do anything. Hair, please make everyone forget about my hair color. Did it work? Did what work? And why am I holding a scissors? What is this thing? Wait, so you can't see my hair color? Yes, I can. It's blue. You're poor. That explains why you're sleeping in this underground garage. Anyways, we have a job we need to get to. Hey babe, we should go to the carnival today. Good idea. Let's bring Jenny. Wait, no. Don't bring her. I was kind of hoping that... Hey, Jenny, want to come to the carnival with us? Yeah? Sick. See you there. Sorry, what did you say? Let's go on that ride. Yeah, let's go. I don't know. It's kind of... Okay, you're already going. Uh, there's only space for two people. Oh, um... You know what? It's fine. Just go have fun. I'll stay here. Oh my gosh. Thanks so much for winning me the earrings. Don't worry, babe. I didn't forget about you. A ball. Thanks. I'm gonna get us something to eat. I got a surprise, the chef. Oh, um, I'm sharing pizza with Jenny. Hey Ryan, wanna come to the carnival? Who are you inviting? Oh, just my best friend. Hey Ryan, you wanna come to the carnival? Who are you inviting? Oh, just my best friend. No, don't bring him. What was that? You're coming. Sit, see you in a bit. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, look, it's him. Ryan, over here. So what ride should we go on? Let's go on that one. That was so much fun. I got you a little gift. Oh, flowers. Hey, babe, hold the ball. Thank you so much. I hope you like it. How did you know this was my favorite ice cream? That's it. I know you brought him to make me jealous. Relax, it's not a big deal. Did you really? No, I didn't. I'm leaving. Wait! Yeah, I'm leaving too. See what you just did? Now we're stuck here together. Good. Look, I'm really sorry for inviting Jenny. I shouldn't have. Amara, reach me my lipstick, please. Why so expensive? Psst, hey, do you have a spare pencil? Yeah, hey. See, now that's a more reasonable price. Amara, I got you your gift. Here you go. A bracelet! Do you like it? I mean, it's not too bad. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, honey. Excuse me, you dropped your... Hey, what are you doing? It's empty. How's this worth 70 million? Oh, it doesn't work like that. Let me explain. It's empty. How's this worth 70 million? Oh, it doesn't work like that. Let me explain. 
Whenever you touch an item that belongs to someone else, you can see how much money they have in their bank so, account. So, how do you have 70 million in your bank account? Um, I have an online business. Yeah, right. What's it called? Um, exactly. You're lying. I have to go. I wonder how she made so much money. Maybe she robbed the bank. Why won't you tell me how you made so much money? You only have 25 pounds. How do you know how much money I have? I have the same power as you. I'm surprised you haven't used it to make money. What do you mean by that? You know how you can see how much money people have? Once the money appears above your head, just click it and it will get transferred to you. You know how you can see how much money people have? Once the money appears above your head, just click it and it will get transferred to you. Wait, that's how you have 70 million? Yeah, exactly. Hey Sarah, can I use your phone to call my mom? Mine's out of battery. Sure. Thanks. Hey, do you have a lip gloss I can borrow real quick? I forgot mine at home. Of course. Thank you so much. Hello? Amara, what have you done to yourself? Are you out of your mind? Please don't give me more than one day to live. Four minutes. Even better. You got four minutes only? How are you not freaking out? Why would I? I'm finally getting out of this shitty life. Only one minute left. Let's go. I'm not gonna let you die. There's no way. I'm afraid there's nothing you can do now, sis. Yes, I can just give you more time. No! What the hell is wrong with you? A whole month? I can just give my days away to someone who needs it. Very funny. That's not how it works. You can't give away any time that's been given to you. I hate you. Finally, it's been the longest month of my life. Not so fast. I'm not gonna let you die either. I'm not doing the same mistake again. <laughs> yes, it's finally happening. Three, two, one. Yes, it's finally happening. Three, two, one. Oh, come on. Please don't do this to me. You're still here? I thought your time ran out. Yes, I am. Because this stupid thing decided to give me infinite life. You should be thankful for that. Haven't you heard anything I've said? I do not want to live. Why is it always the person that wants to die that ends up living the longest? You can help me. Hit, kill me. You're insane. I'll pay you. Please? No. What did you do to make your time change anyway? I killed my teacher. What is actually wrong with what? you? I didn't know if you killed someone you'd end up with the remaining time. Too bad for you. You're stuck here forever now. No. No, I'm not. Because I have an idea. What's your idea? I'll just pay someone else to kill me. Hey, are you the girl with the infinite life? Yeah. I can help you get rid of it. How? It's very easy. All you need to do is... Mom, it's almost Christmas Eve. Have you wrapped the presents yet? Sorry, honey. I don't have enough money to buy presents this year. Oh. Not fair. We never get any presents for Christmas. There has to be something I can do to get money. I can just sell things I don't use anymore. Where are you going? Um, I'll be right back. Hey, would you be interested in buying- Sorry, I don't have time. I'm in a rush. Say hello to Hi, do you want to buy this- I'm not interested. Hi, would you want to buy this- Whoa! You dropped your wallet! Wait! Oh my gosh, was that the prince? Whoa. There's so much money in here. The palace? He must work there. I need to give this back. Hey, I'm here to give this to Liam. You mean Prince Liam? What? There's only one Liam here and it's Prince Liam. Let me see. Yeah, that's him. I'll let him know you came by. Wait, I kind of want to give it to him in person if that's possible. Okay, but hurry up. <clears throat> hey, do you know where Prince Liam is? Yeah, you're speaking to him right now. I got your wallet! Oh, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> well, here it is. Thank you so much, really. How can I repay you? Oh no, it's fine. Just consider a Christmas present. I better get going, my family's waiting for me. Wait! This might sound crazy, but I would like to invite you and your family here to have Oh dinner. no, you don't have to. I want to, as a thank you. So, what do you say? So, what do you say? Sure. Perfect. See you tomorrow then. Here's an invitation card. Mom, you won't guess what just happened. Where have you been all this time? Forget about that. We just got invited to have dinner with the royals. Let me see. It's a Christmas miracle. I know. I need to find something to wear. This is perfect. 
Wow, you look beautiful. I love you, Mom. I love you too. You ready to go? Let's go. Hi, we're here for the Christmas dinner. Hey, aren't you that girl that returned the wallet from yesterday? That's me. Pleasure to have you back. Enjoy the dinner. Thank you. Your Majesty, I want to introduce you to my mom and my sister. Pleasure to meet you both. Pleasure to meet you too. By the way, call me Liam. Oh. Are you ready to come inside? Everyone's waiting for you. Let's go. Mmm, the food's amazing. I got you something. Ooh, a flower crown. How'd I look? Just like the perfect princess. It's the best time of the year. Thank you so much. This night was great. Can we come here again tomorrow, please? Oh no, I don't want to... Please do come. We loved having you here tonight. Really? See you tomorrow then, Liam. See you tomorrow, Amara. Amara's gonna be a princess. Me? No, that's a bit crazy. Yeah, I can see in his eyes that he likes you. Oh, come on. He's probably just nice to everyone. Yeah, right. Your boyfriend sent you a letter. Yay, we're here. I'm so excited. Hey. Hi. I'm going to go play with the kids. It's the best time okay. Oh, and uh, I'm just going to go speak to someone over there. I guess we're the only ones left. I guess so. Do you want to have a walk around the garden? Sure. Let's go. The flowers are so beautiful. They really are, aren't they? They used to be my mom's favorite. Really? Yeah, but she passed away when I was eight. They're the only thing I have left of her. Oh, I'm so sorry. How'd she pass away? In a plane crash. And I picked these out for you. I'm really glad you came today. Christmas hasn't been the same since my mom passed away, but you've changed that. That's so sweet. There's one more thing. I want to ask you something. There's something I want to ask you. What is it? Hi guys, we're back. I'm just gonna go take care of some things. Are you okay to stay here while I'm gone? Yeah, of course. So, where'd he take you? Around his garden. They had such beautiful flowers. And what else happened? He asked me to be his girlfriend. Oh my gosh, no way! See? I told you he liked you. What did you say? I said yes, of course. I'm so happy for you. This is so exciting. Thanks again for an amazing night. I'm really glad I got to spend it with you. Me too. I was thinking, and why don't you guys stay over? We have more than enough room at Yeah, Yes, sure, we can stay over tonight. No, I meant, why don't you move here? That way we could spend more time together. Yes, I want to live at the palace. I'm okay with it if you are. So, what do you say? I would love to stay here with you, Liam. Yay, we're going to live at the palace. 